Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today's lesson is a vocabulary lesson and we're going to learn maths symbols and operations. So first of all, a quick introduction. So we have a noun in English called mathematics and the definition is it is the study of numbers, shapes and space using symbols and rules. So an example, here is a mathematical operation. Okay, so I'm sure you all know what mathematics is. And we also have an abbreviated form of this word. So in British English, we call this maths with an S. However, in American English, they say math in the singular without an S. Okay, so this is quite a, quite a big difference between both languages. Um, and this is an English lesson. It is not a maths lesson. So I'm not going to explain how to do complicated maths calculations. No, this is a vocabulary lesson. And you will learn the English vocabulary for the basic mathematical symbols and operations. So let's start. So here is the operation this is how we write it. But how do we say this in English? Well, we say 4 plus 6 equals 10. So we say plus. So 4 plus equals. Okay. So this is the plus sign. We call this a sign. It's the plus sign. And in blue, this is the equals sign. Listen to the pronunciation, equals. Okay, so we will have this in all of our calculations at the end. And this is called the sum. So the answer um, to this operation is called the sum. Example. The sum of 4 and 6 is 10. Okay. And we have a verb called add. Okay. And the definition is to put two or more numbers together to calculate the sum. And the form is add number two number so we use the preposition to with the verb add example if you add four to six you get ten okay so this is the verb add and we have a noun which is derived from the verb Add. And the noun is addition. Addition. And the definition is the process of adding numbers together to calculate the sum. So it's simply the noun which describes this operation. An example the maths teacher says, Today we are going to practice addition. Okay, so you have the verb, the noun, and the most important part is how you say the operation. So remember, it's 4 plus 6 equals 10, plus and equals. So how do we say this operation? Well, we say 8 minus 3 equals 5. So we say minus 
minus. So this sign is called the minus sign. And the verb is subtract, subtract. And this means to remove a number from another number. And the form is subtract number from number. So we have from with subtract. Example. If you subtract 3 from 8, you get 5. If you subtract 3 from 8, you get 5. So 3 from 8, you get 5. So this is the verb. And we also have an alternative way of saying subtract. We have another verb, which is take away take away. So this is another verb and this is a little bit more informal but it is still very common. So if you study maths in an English speaking country then you will hear this a lot. So you'll hear take away and you will also hear subtract. And the form is take number away from number. Example take 3 away from 8. What is the answer? So take, take 3 away from 8. What is the answer? Well, the answer is 5. Okay, so you have two choices. Either use subtract number from number or take number away from number. And again, we have a noun which describes this operation and the noun is derived from the verb and the noun is subtraction. So this is the process of removing a number from another number. Example, let's learn subtraction. Okay. So this is the overall, this is like the general um, name for the operation. So how do we say this? Well, we say 6 multiplied by 4 equals 24. So here, notice we have two words, multiplied by, multiplied by by. So that represents the symbol. Or we can say 6 times 4 equals 24. So here we have only one word, times. 6 times 4. And the sign is called multiplication sign. It's a multiplication sign. And the answer of um, a multiplication calculation is called the product. The product. So this is the result of a multiplication calculation. Example, the product of 6 and 4 is 24. And the verb here is multiply, to multiply. The form is multiply number by number. So very important. With the verb multiply, we say by. Example. If you multiply 6 by 4, you get 24. And the noun which is derived from multiply is multiplication. Example, I'm not very good at multiplication. So, 
how do we say this operation? Well, we say 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So again, we have two words, divided by, divided by. And this time the sign is called a division sign, division sign. The verb is divide, to divide. The form is divide number by number. So again, we have the word by. Example. If you divide 15 by 3, you get 5. Okay? 15 by 3. Divide 15 by 3. We always divide a number by a number. And the noun is division. Example. Today we are going to learn division. Okay? So, a summary. This is the summary of the most important um, part of the lesson. How to say these mathematical operations. So, addition, we say 4 plus 6 equals 10. Plus. For the subtraction, we say 8 minus 3 equals 5. Minus. For the multiplication, we say 6 multiplied by 4 equals 24. Multiplied by. And finally, for the division, ah, sorry, and don't forget we have um, the second way of saying the multiplication. We say times. 6 times 4 equals 24. Times. Division. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Divided by. Okay? Easy. So there we are. That's the end of the lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. And here are some other videos which I think you'll be interested in.